Today I'm using Dark and Decrepit from DIY Paint to show you how to make a French Country rustic bench. And before I do that, I'm going to be using the Five Miles app to show you how to quickly and efficiently sell your furniture flipping projects. I get asked a lot about how I sell my furniture and I found this app that I think is pretty amazing. I wanted to share it with you today and go with you exactly how you can list your items for sale. First thing I want you to do is download the Five Miles app. It's on the App Store or Google Play depending on the device that you're using. And then you just make yourself an account. I already have an account, it just took me a couple of minutes. The cool thing is it keeps all your recent searches on there. I Antique is something I'm always looking for. And then it gives you kind of a brief overview of what there is for sale. But if you're looking for something specific, you can do that. So you can look for cars, must go, services, jobs, garage sales. I'm pretty much gonna hang out in the furniture section. So if you click furniture, it's gonna show you all of the furniture that there is available. It's got pictures, you can like it. If you click on it, it's gonna show you more pictures, a description, as well as who's selling it and their rating. If they're not a good seller, they're gonna get bad ratings, so that's another nice thing about this app. It's also gonna tell you where, where it's located in relation to you, so you can decide whether or not you wanna do it. And then you can also make an offer, or you can chat. So if you've got a question or you wanna ask more about it, then you just click chat and you can talk to the seller. So you have two options. You can take a picture with this or you can go to album. I'm gonna to go to album because this is something I've already taken a photo of. I'm gonna find my item. Sorry, I gotta scroll through here. It's this desk right here. So I've got some nice edited photos that I'm gonna go ahead and click. More than one photo is good because then you're gonna give people the best amount of options to look at it up close. Just click done once you've added those pictures. And then you can choose a category. So you're just gonna click category. And then the options are here. You're gonna click for sale. And then in my case, it's furniture. That way when people are searching, they can find it. You can also add a video if you want. And then you're gonna put your description. What I'm selling is a vintage mahogany desk. My description of it is navy blue, stained top, solid wood, and dovetailed. Don't mind that I can't spell. <laughs> Good thing for a spell check. You could include measurements or anything else you want to know. I want them to know that the drawers slide well, sturdy, in excellent condition. Okay, so once I've got all that inf information in there, I'm gonna put the price, it's $225. Payment, you can choose cash only, or there's an option for Five Miles Wallet, and that's a way that if they don't wanna do cash, they can just put it in the Five Miles Wallet and you can transfer it to your bank. And then delivery options um, is only available for local meetup for this. So since you're not gonna be delivered, just local meetup. And then location, Lehigh, Utah. Now down here, you can add things like free delivery, seven day return, brand new, warranty, trade in, and whatever you wanna do. I'm not gonna put anything on that. There's also an option to share on social media. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna click publish. Once you're done with that, the first time you're using it, it's gonna ask you to verify your phone number just to verify who you are, and they'll send you a four digit code. You put that in there, easy peasy, and then you'll see, congratulations! That just means that it's in, and then you have an option to publish another listing, or here it says sell faster and there's some sales tools if you'd like to promote your listing you can do that if you don't want to do that then you're done and you can go on to list something else jack you're gonna help me today yeah okay so what are we gonna do we gotta paint this we're gonna paint this you're gonna paint the top or the bottom the, the bottom yes and i'm painting the top yep so you're gonna paint the bottom Mint chip. <laughs> and I'm gonna paint the top in letterpress gray. I got to paint this. Yeah, well this is the liquid patina. We're gonna put this on when we're done to kind of add some age and to help darken up the top, okay? We're not gonna do liquid patina on the bottom, just over the letterpress gray. Okay, you okay. got that? Well, we might do it over the bottom, but I don't think so. All right, so let me give you the mint chip. You're just painting the bottom. Jack's got the mint chip and I've got the letterpress gray. I'm doing the top and he's doing the bottom. So Jack, here, only paint the bottom. I'm gonna here, put come it, around the front over here, come Jack, around so over I can here. see you. And then you're gonna just paint the legs, okay? Okay. And I'm gonna paint the top and then I'll help you do the legs in a minute. The reason why Jack can help me with this project 
is because this is non-toxic and all natural, so if he inhales a little bit of it or gets it on his skin, I don't have to worry about that. I think I got some of your mint chip on this. I'm just putting a light gray coat on the top, and then I'm gonna sand it when it's dry, and then I'll do the liquid patina on it. Jack, how's it going? Good. Good? Is your dad Ooh, gonna have You're to... getting some on the top, careful. Don't get it on the top. You want me to come help you? Yeah. Okay. So you kind of want to go one direction, like this. Okay. And then you do side to side over here. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Good job, Jack. You keep, you do that over there. Are you humming while you paint, Jack? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Remember to go side to side like mom showed you. Yep. Yep. Not that mommy. Wipe it on the tarp. Sorry. Wipe it on the tarp. It's, a, it's okay. That's all right. It'll wash out. Oh, it's getting on me. Oh, it's okay. You'll get some paint on you. It's because you got a lot on your brush. You need to wipe some of it off. Here, you want a smaller brush? Yep. Okay. Use this brush. Your trade mom. <laughs> yes. Yes. I choose a smaller brush. You choose a smaller brush? Yes. You have a lot of paint on this, buddy. Yeah, you get dip in it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna help you. Because I'm already done with my top. It's okay, because you're just learning. Yep. Okay, go do the other leg on the other side, and I'll finish this one. Can you go do the yeah, other come leg? Come do this one yep. over here. <laughs> but my pen don't will heal. It's okay, you have enough paint on your brush already. Okay. Paint, 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 paint. Paint, paint, oh. I got them on the other side over here. See? Right yep. there. That's good. Yep. Okay, go do go do the other leg. I'll finish this one. Paint, paint, paint. Did you make up your own song, Jack? Yep. Yep. The paint, paint, paint song? Yep. You're such a good helper. I was going to want to help on every paint job. Oh, yeah, well. He's like, I know how. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm doing it right here. Do, 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 paint, 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 paint. Here we go. Edges, edges, edges. I'm painting this whole thing. I'm good at it. You are, you're so smart. Yep. Okay, so the next step that Jack and I are gonna do is we're gonna sand, but it's gonna kinda get dust everywhere. So Jack's gonna go out of the room so mommy can get it sanded and then you can help me put the liquid patina on, okay? okay. Manufacturers gonna tell you wait 24 hours before you use dark and decrepit. I'm not doing that. I'm not also suggesting that you do that, but I'll have time to wait. So I'm using my dark and decrepit on my Wooster foam brush, and I'm just gonna come and put it on here. And then I'm gonna use a damp rag and wipe it off. Dark and decrepit is a sealer and a uh, glaze all in one. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna take a lint-free damp rag. And just kind of smooth it over and work it in. And give it kind of an aged effect. I wiped off a little bit too much over here, so. It gives it kind of a faux stained effect when you do it like this. So without having to strip the top, I can still get a weathered look. You just kind of got to play with it. It's water-based, so if you get a little too much on a damp rag, you can just manipulate it. And it'll kind of activate that paint underneath too. All right, I like the way that looks. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna put two coats of Big Top on it and then we'll be done. All right, so I'm just gonna take my dark and decrepit, just go over the edges like this. Jack's gonna help me. Come here, Jack. 
We're gonna get that down in the crack right there. This one, mommy's gonna help you because otherwise it won't be quite right. And then go over the edge right there like that. Okay, then don't do it. Hold this for me, don't touch it. Then you just take your damp rag and you can kind of just maneuver it how you want. And then it just gives you kind of an aged effect. I'm gonna do that over the whole bottom piece, but I'm not gonna go over all the paint because I don't wanna muddy up the paint. I'm just gonna do that on the edges. Okay, so after this dried, I went ahead and took my 220 sandpaper. So I just went over it to bring back some of the gray and make it a little less harsh. Now I'm just gonna take the clear liquid patina, which is also a sealer, and I'm going to seal it. You can see that when you seal it, it richens up that color. And I'm gonna do a, probably two or three coats on top and two coats on the base. I'm using a foam brush so I don't get brush strokes. Once I get it all on there, then I just take it and go nice and neat. Smooth it out. My bench is all finished. It turned out pretty awesome. I haven't used the dark and decrepit before and I think that I really like this look. The cool thing is, I don't know if Zeb wants to give you a close up here, that without staining the top, I was able to get it kind of a faux stain finish, mixing the stain with the paint and then kind of sanding it back. And then also it adds some darkness to the bottom where it was previously light. So it's a good option if that's the look you're going for. Also, I was able to get my desk listed on the 5 Miles app, so hopefully it sells soon. Be sure to click the link below to go to jamierayvintage.com for the products that we use today, as well as the 5 Miles app. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.